recapitulation. So just take a look. Okay, okay. okay class, uh, just try to uh, recall that. So in our previous lessons, we have talked about this diagram. Let's take a look. There's the relationship between the Greek vehicle, the Dharma common to the three vehicle, and the Dharma common to the five vehicle. Okay, uh, again, uh, the uh, Dharma common to the five vehicle. What is the five vehicle means? Dharma five vehicle means human, Deva, Sravaka, Ajaka Buddha, and the Buddha. So this because it's a five vehicle. Okay, basically, five vehicle. Okay, basically for five vehicle, okay, they are, the cultivation item, okay, that, that cultivation item is about what? Uh, giving uh, meditation, beta uh, uh, and also, uh, okay, uh, okay, uh, uh, giving, okay, a uh, precept, and also meta uh, So this is the, for the five vehicle, meaning to say that in order to, to reach, I mean, in order to regain back this body, or you want to be born as a Dewa, you must practice at least, you, you must practice three of them, giving 5%, and also, I mean, the metabawana. okay. Huh? Then we go to the three vehicle. Three vehicle, uh, so we need to say that five vehicle actually is the most basic elements you have to do. Huh? So no matter you do believe or don't believe the Dharma, the rules of the karma, the rules of karma is applicable to everybody. Okay, so that, that's what we say. Lah, huh? So basically, we learn Dharma, uh, we are learn, we try to learn the rules of the universe, which is discovered by Shakyamuni. Even Shakyamuni himself is not exempted from the rules of karma. Uh, so we are quite different with the monotheism, which, which the God will arrange everything and ready for everything. We don't. We just try, uh, Shakyamuni try to observe all the rules in the universe and then he disclosed it to us and we try to follow. So, in, uh, so that's what he, uh, that's what Shakyamuni say, uh, in order to, to gain back, I mean, uh, we want to get uh, the body, so we have to do this, okay. Second, if you wish to become the Prachika Buddha, Sravaka, and also the Buddha, you have to practice, uh, this we call it as a tree breaker, you have to practice four noble truths and eight noble path. Okay, we will go detail in the next, next chapter, all right. So uh, the, the next chapter coming, I think today we are going to the next chapter, which is about the five breaker, all right. Then the last one, the, in, uh, the distinctive breaker, which is the Bodhisattva. So the unique is the sixth pyramid. So it's the sixth pyramid. So we need to say that if you wish to become a bodhisattva, you must have the fundamental of the three vehicle and the common and five vehicle. Five vehicle is the fundamental to everything. Class, if let's say you you, you feel in the five vehicle, meaning to say if you feel to if you feel to do the giving, so the next life you might be insufficient in food, clothes. Uh, medical everything okay huh? uh, if you feel uh, if you feel to fulfill the needs of the uh, uh, I mean the precept uh, you cannot become become a human anymore okay then if you uh, if you feel to if you cannot uh, uh, do the jhana samadhi huh? you don't have the opportunity to do reborn in the deva so what happened if either one if, if it's insufficient either one okay if let's say you, you don't do much giving Okay, but you hold the precept and do a little bit samadhi. Maybe the case we can see is recently in Syria, in Syria, Yemen. Okay, so those are the human, but they don't. They, but they are, they, are, they are in the starvation now. Mm. So millions of children they don't know where are their next meal. Okay, so of course if you analyze, uh, maybe you can blame USA. Uh, they are the culprit uh, uh, to create all this. You see how uh, they are for in intervention. Okay, with the pretext for the democracy, but uh, we will say that there might be some karma effect. Is uh, there's the possibility that they, they don't do much giving, so they uh, they are different with the children in Malaysia. Most children are uh, uh, we all have uh, they are they got sufficient food, sufficient clothes, sufficient medicine. So that's the reason 
uh, I mean, uh, if, if you don't have much enough this life, it's due to the lack of the giving. No? Then secondly, if you, let's say you do enough giving, but you don't hold the five percent, you will lose the body as a human. Uh, but you might be very rich. So we are able to see uh, some dog is quite, some pet and dog in American, they are very rich, right? Even better than us, right? Or like a panda, right? Ah, why? The, the reason is uh, they have done a lot of giving, but they don't hold the five percent. So they become a rich dog. Ah, they become a rich pet. Uh, even even uh, uh, we have a better life uh, quality than us. Okay, so that's what we see here. Uh, uh. Okay, we'll we'll go deeper. Uh, uh, I mean, in the next chapter. All right. So we need to set the class uh, in order. Okay, uh, uh, the relation for three of them is important. Uh. Uh, basically, for uh, uh, basically the five rigor is not the unique of the Buddhism. It is quite common to all the religions uh, for Christianity, for Islam, even the Jews, okay, they all will practice uh, five percent or ten commandments or this. Okay, it's quite common to all the religion for the five rank. Okay, uh, okay, uh, but uh, the unique of the Buddhism, you can find it is in the three vehicle and the great vehicle. But anyway, in order uh, to do the three vehicle and the great vehicle, you must have a good fundamental in the five vehicle. Okay, so uh, this is uh, what uh, what 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 is mentioned in the previous chapter. You see, so here it said that uh, after having uh, the better future life, one can bring forth superior resolution. You must have a better future life first. Okay, then uh, let's take a look. Uh, Okay, destroying the ego is the dharma for the middle people, okay, uh, because uh, it's a stravaka. Huh? Eliminating all the wrong view is the dharma for the higher people. Uh, this is the distinctive vehicle. Okay, huh? So uh, this is the previous lesson. Uh, huh? So we need to say that different vehicle are with a different aim, you see. But the uh, first, uh, the five vehicle is stop all wrong deeds. Okay, uh, stop, stop all wrong this uh, is the first, uh, is the uh, five vehicle. Okay, so now we go to the uh, next paragraph. Let's see how. Okay, uh, yeah, Junjie, can you please uh, read it out for me? Two paragraphs. Uh. As with the three story pagoda, in which the top level rests on the middle and the lower levels. The Dharma for the higher people includes the Dharma for the middle people, which in turn includes the Dharma for the lower people. As the Lotus Sutra describes it, the path of the two vehicles is 300 yojanas in, event, in extent, while that of the great vehicle is 500 yojanas. But 500 yojanas include the 300 yojanas, and the 300 yojanas mark is close to the midpoint of the 500 yojana journey this insight into the inclusiveness of the vehicle is necessary for one to embrace all the buddha dhammas thoroughly and to practice them skillfully the venerable master tai xu called the dharma for the lower people the dharma shared in common by the five vehicles and he called the dharma for the middle people the Dharma is the Dharma shared in common by three vehicles. Okay. In his great treatise on sequence of attaining enlightenment, the Venerable Master Songkapa called the Dharma for the lower people. The Dharma shared in common by the lower people. And the Dharma for the middle people. The Dharma shared in common by the middle people. Here the face shared in common reflects the right view that was without discussion, agreed upon by two wise men, one Chinese and one Tibetan. And this coincidental agreement is also the distinctive sign of these three grids, mutual dependence and mutual inclusiveness. Thank you so much. Hey, you are IT guy. Uh, why the way you read like a new pastor? Uh, I, are you are you trained that before? Uh, you so well? No, no, I'm not trained. Yeah. I'm not trained. This is yeah. you use a very good mic, huh? So it's my mic quality, yes. So my quality. So make yes. you like the newscaster. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Okay. okay.
a piece of the mind, please, Sergeant J. Huh? Okay, all right. Come up by Zoom once you finish. Uh. Yeah, okay, class, thank you. We can put out your hand. Okay, thank you so much. Uh. Okay. okay, so class, okay, uh, for this paragraph, okay, uh, so class, for this paragraph, uh, I mean, it's just repeat uh, what, I'm, what I re recap just now. Uh, but one uh, Buddhism terminology involved is about the Yojana. Uh, uh, Yojana is a very good analogy, uh, I mean, uh, for the Lotus Sutra uh, to describe. Uh, uh, okay, meaning to say that uh, uh, the distance in order to reach to the Sravaka is 300 Yojana, okay? But uh, in order to attain the Buddhahood, it's about the 500 Yojana. But basically, yeah, uh, okay, uh, well, you can, uh, uh, okay, uh, I don't know whether you have experience or not, uh, uh, okay, uh, maybe uh, we, will, we will say, so how should I, how should I put it out? Okay, if let's say uh, you are aiming uh, to buy a bungalow, okay, uh, maybe you want to stay in a bungalow, uh, but it is quite hard uh, to the fresh graduate and mention to them that you aim for the bungalow, which is millions of dollars. So it's too big for them. So basically, uh, he should aim for the apartment in the first place, right? Uh, you have to stay into the apartment and go to the age of about uh, age 30. Or uh, once uh, uh, you, you reach about to the middle age, okay, you have a better income, then you can sell out the apartment. Then you maybe you can shift uh, to the condo and uh, from condo you can go to the bungalow you see so meaning to say that if you if you let people know that okay your final target is bungalow but before you can stay in bungalow so you take you you you, you mentioned to the guy that like, huh, you should begin uh, with the apartment that apartment to the condo something like that like, huh? so he will feel much more easy right or huh? you feel it it seems reachable you see well we do the same thing huh? uh, the same same tactic is applicable in the Lotus Sutra. Oh. So we need to say the place like Logi. Uh. So he say, uh, oh, want to become Buddhahood? Wow, very far away. Uh. So they say, oh, you become Sravaka first. This is only 200 Yojana, 300 Yojana. And uh, then another two, uh, once you reach already, uh, then we again, we inform that, oh, you, you, you preferably become the Buddha. Buddha even better. Uh. Just two more hundred Yojana. You see, you already complete 300 Yojana. Why you didn't go further? 200 Yojana become Buddhahood? Then they said, then, then, then people said, oh, yes, that's true. So they will work harder, you see. So meaning to say, uh, this is the tactic better than you immediately tell people, 500 Yojana, or oh, people, they will just give up by just knowing so far the distance, you see. So basically, that is the good tactic how to tell people. Huh? So uh, this is, uh, I mean, the tactic in the uh, Lotus Sutra, okay? Huh? So it's number one for the paragraph. Huh? Uh, then later on, uh, uh, not much preset, uh, not, not much uh, uh, concept I wish to introduce, but more terminology have to let you know. Uh, okay, class, uh, let's take a look. Uh. Here, a few things uh, you have to know. Number one is the Lotus Sutra. We should try to go back to the original text. Uh. Okay, Lotus Sutra. Okay, so class, take a look. Uh. So Sanskrit is a Sadhamma Buddhika Sutra. Uh. Class, take a look to the right, right strip. You see, uh, this is a, a Turkistan Brahmis, a Brahmin, a Brahmin script. Okay, uh. Uh, historically, we know that Lotus Sutra has been discovered about first century. Why do we know that? Because uh, we are able to discover, I mean, uh, the, I mean, uh, the original text, which is in the very, uh, in this 
in, in this way. Huh? So we, by using carbon-14, we are able to test it out. And we know that, oh, this trial is compiled, uh, was compiled in the first century. So we can know in this way. Huh? So basically, uh, this is the original text. Okay, huh? Then uh, here, he, he mentioned, uh, this is the Sanskrit name. He said, one of the most influential and venerated Buddhist Mahayana texts. Okay, huh? Sourcing the doctrinal uh, basic on which the Tiantai, Tengai, okay, a uh, school of Buddhism were established. Huh? So class, uh, basically, uh, in Chinese Buddhism, this is a very common and popular sutra. You have to know it. Okay? As long as you know that, uh, you go to the any Mahayana uh, temple, huh? you mentioned Lotus Sutra, most of the people know it very well. Okay? And the most famous uh, analogy is regards this 500 Yojana, 300 Yojana. Okay, huh? So class, uh, please copy down the Sanskrit name. Uh, it's the Sata Sakdhamma Puttarika Sutra. All right? Please copy down. Uh, so class, if one day uh, you're able to visit uh, some Buddhism museum, okay, maybe in Indian, uh, maybe in, in the Middle East country, okay, since uh, you know the original text, you should go to have a look. Ah, so that is the, this is the, Original text, you see. Uh, Sifu, just, just curious. So, um, so who write this text then? Oh, who write the text? Uh, huh? Okay, it's a good question. Huh? Okay, uh, basically the text, uh, mm, it is written by the monk. Uh, it's okay. written by the monk. But uh, actually, before Christ, uh, okay, uh, after Buddha, uh, Buddha uh, Parinibbana, okay, Buddha. Uh, 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 Parinibbana is about a 544, okay? Then uh, about uh, within 100 years, within, uh, 200, three, uh, uh, within 200 years, we are having a meeting. We call it as a council. First council, second council, third council, meaning to say that all the Buddha disciples they gather together and they try to finalize what, are, what was the Buddha teaching, okay? But there's still, we don't find any text yet, no no, I mean, uh, no, uh, no text has been created at that time yet. Uh. According to the history, uh, the text is correct. It's about, I think, maybe uh, 300 years before Christ. Okay, uh, 200 years before Christ. So in the third council, uh, there are a group of people uh, that who memorize all the texts very well, the, the, the Buddha Dharma very well, then they, uh, then they migrants uh, to Sri Lanka. And the first monk, uh, the name is Mahinda. Uh, he noticed that this is not the best way uh, 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 I mean, uh, to keep the Dharma in memorizing. So he noticed that we should apply the new technique, which write out everything, uh, record out everything. Uh, so this is before Christ, uh, we start to have the uh, Buddhism uh, scripture and the scripture from Sri Lanka spreading to uh, Thailand, Myanmar. Ah, so this is how it began, okay? Oh. But this is one root only. Oh. But what you see in the Lotus Sutra, it is, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it should be discovered in Kashmir. In Kashmir. Why? Because uh, after Buddha Barinibana, oh, the, the Buddha disciple that split, split schism. Why? Why there is a sectarian? Because uh, uh, if Shakyamuni uh, uh, haven't finalized anything, Okay, we have uh, our own way and we stick to our own way. Uh, it's just like a, in a family, uh, once the parent passed away, so all the brother, they can't stick together. They have their own, own way of thinking. So they will split, same thing. Okay. So one, one of the group, one group of people, then their name is, we, we call it as a Savastivada. They migrant, uh, they, they ship, I mean, uh, they, they, they migrants are to the Kashmir. So in Kashmir, they start to develop the other sectarian, like the Mahayana. So the monk themselves write it down. Ah, they, they are using the language at that time and write down. Okay, oh. so then, and then uh, the text, uh, uh, don't know, somehow uh, is, is kept, uh, uh, I mean, it's safely kept. Okay, then the, uh, after some discovery from the archaeology department in, in relevant country, so they will discover it. And the Buddhist scholar will go to look, look, look for this and try to, I mean, tell the world by writing the thesis. Uh, so this is 
how you see all these things, Junjie. Uh, I think it's quite common for any any knowledge in in the world, uh, the way. Uh, but we are we are more we have a, a strong history background. Uh, we can date it to two thousand years before the crisis. It's very long ago. Uh, no, no, no. It's about uh, 500, 600 years before the Christ. Uh, our history is quite long for Buddhism, you see. Okay, you see, according to the British professor Paul William, uh, for many Buddhists in East Asia, since early time, the Lotus Sutra contains the final teaching of Shakyamuni Buddha complete and sufficient for salvation, you see. Uh, so this is from a scholar of uh, British professor Paul William. Uh, okay, uh, so basically, uh, some not all Greek scholars, they are from Chinese, and they are not monk. Some scholars, uh, since we can see so many religious study department, okay, in many various university, basically they got Buddhism study. So they, they, uh, they some something can come up with a very good idea and thesis. So we will, we will go through it also. Uh. So Vicky is a good source for you to begin to know the things. Uh. So this is called as a Lotus Sutra, okay. Then uh, you will maybe you will ask, uh, what's the Yojana? Yojana actually is the distance. Uh, uh. Let's take a look. Yojana. Uh. Yojana actually is the distance in, in, in ancient Indian. Uh, uh. Yeah, let's see. Uh. Yojana. Uh. Yojana, Sanskrit is a measure of distance was used in ancient Indian. So Yojana is about 12 to 15 km. Yes, class, you can write it down. 12 to 15 km. It's a one Yojana. Twelve km from Chiras to Shalam is about fifty. Uh, about fifty km already, right, Junji? Chiras to Shalam, right? You don't know. Uh, your mic test feel, uh, Junji. Uh, your mic feel already, huh? Oh, depends. Uh, I have a switch, so I turn off the switch already. Oh. So uh, I think it depends which part of Chiras. Oh, Not sure. Chiras <laughs> Chiras is quite big. Okay, I'm not very long. La, huh? Yeah, maybe from Klang to Shah Alam. <laughs> uh, Klang to Shah Alam. Huh? Yeah. So this is the one Yojana. Huh? Okay, I, we, I, we don't go deep. La, huh? uh, if let's say, uh, okay, for those who interest, we can go deep la, huh? uh, after the class. Huh? Okay, huh? okay, then here about, I uh, mentioned about Master Tai Shu. Huh? So let's take a look. So this is the Master Tai Shu. Huh? Oh, Master Tai Shi is the master of the authors. The author is the venerable Yin Shun. So Master Tai Shi is the master Yin Shun teacher. Okay, why do I mention? Because I study in the Buddhist college, which has been founded by venerable Yin Shun, who is the author of this book. <laughs> I was studying there. Okay, oh, mm. well, Mr. Tai Shi is the pioneer in Buddhism. He is very open mind monk. Oh. Why? Because uh, he's the one who, uh, who established the first magazine. Okay, who 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 initiated the first magazine or Buddhism magazine? Oh. Uh, basically, uh, in I mean, in the Qing Dynasty, the time of the Qing Dynasty, Buddhism uh, there is a conservative and also some progressive school. They've got two set huh? for the very progressive uh, for the very uh, conservative uh, uh, basically uh, uh, they will run the dharma in a very conservative way mm. you, you want to invite the people to, uh, to lecture the dharma uh, basically in a very polite way there will be some richer involved and the monk have to wear in a very uh, proper attire okay uh, with the i mean and also uh, with the uh, how, how should i put it with a very very proper department uh, just to give the lecture, all right. But for Reverend Tai Shi, uh, he, he firstly used the blackboard. Ah, he write the words Buddha, and then he rub the, uh, the words. So from the conservative, uh, well, this is this is like a demon act, you know? Can you imagine? Ah, but he's, he's quite brave to do the thing. He said, you can just uh, confine yourself in, in uh, I mean, uh, you, you can't just confine yourself in the temple for the Dharma propagation. You should go to the market. So we go to the market and just try to talk the Dharma to the public. Uh, and he is quite, I mean, uh, he has a great vision, you see. So uh, Master Tai Shui, uh, he sent one student to Tibetan for learning the Tibetan uh, 
text. And he sent one student to go to the Sri Lanka to learn the Visuddhimagga. And he sent one student also, uh, where, where to go? Huh? Let's say uh, to Japan or so, you see. So uh, uh, once, they, once they finish study, com after completion, so they come back. So they will, they will bring back, uh, I mean, uh, the, the best, uh, I mean, the, the uh, 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 the, the best, uh, how to say, the best researcher huh, to enrich the Mahayana. So you see, uh, meaning to say this is very smart people. Uh, he can have a very fast, uh, he, he, he got a vision uh, how to uh, enrich uh, the Mahayana in itself. Uh, so that is a venerable Tai Shi. Uh, okay. okay, next uh, is one, uh, one more people, one thing you have to know is about this. Uh, a great treatise on the sequence of attaining enlightenment. So this is, uh, this is uh, I mean, uh, 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 Master Tai Shi sent one of the disciples to Tibetan to translate this great treatise on the sequence of attaining enlightenment. Uh, well, in, Tibet, uh, in Tibetan, it's, it's called as a Lam Ring. Uh, Lam Ring. Lam Ring. Uh. Is so called as a lam rim. Yeah, class lam rim. Huh? So, class, uh, the figure you see here is the zonggakpa. Huh? Uh, zonggakpa. Huh? So, the figure you see is a zonggakpa. Huh? Well, zonggakpa is a very, very famous monk in Tibetan. Okay, especially in, uh, let me see first, uh, huh? Huang Jiao, huh? Gama Gaju, uh, then uh, Mingma. Uh, I forgot the name, uh, okay, uh, this is, uh, 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 they, they are quite specific in wearing the yellow robe. Uh. Same with the Dalai Lama set, mm. Dalai Lama set, okay. Uh. Why he is so famous? Because he's the one who firstly organized and compiling all the sutra together to make it become one book, okay. Uh. Uh, the, the, the name is Lam Rima, uh, as, as, as I mentioned just now. Uh, uh. And uh, so this, because uh, he tried to compile, because you see, uh, if the original text got so much volume, uh, not many people are able to digest. So it is important for you to write one book. Okay. Uh, and, and I want to let you know that uh, this book, I mean, uh, the author uh, for our way to Buddhahood, he get the ideas from this Lam Rim. Ah, why? Because uh, uh, Fajun Fasu is, is the one who was sent to Tibetan and translate this Lam Rim. When he come back, he talked with the, our author. So our author realized that, yes, we need this type of the articles, uh, this type of the articles, so to make Buddhism simple and easy. Because uh, 2,000 years ago, we got 100 volumes of the Tripitaka, who can digest? Uh, but, our, but the author had read through 100 Tripitaka for five times. So he got the idea, he should write a book. So the book is what we read here, Way to Buddha. Meaning to say, after you finish the way to Buddhahood, la, you are roughly finished. You get a summary of a hundred volume of the Tipitaka. So it's very it's, it's a worthy investment. Huh? You save a lot of time huh? because uh, you build your foundation on the shell, on the shelter of the giant, you see, on the shoulder of the giant. So you, you can easy you make, make yourself easy already. Huh? And yet uh, a lot of people uh, comment that uh, Christian, uh, because for Christian, just one Bible only, right? New Testament. So finish one Bible to finish the whole thing. Uh, so easy and simple. Uh, so I think uh, if you ask me uh, what is what is the uh, representative, uh, uh, I think this book, uh, The Way to Buddhahood. Class, uh, basically, uh, if wherever university, uh, with the Buddhist organization within the university, basically they use this book. We, the book we are studying now, because uh, 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 uni student, uh, they are most, they are more academic orientation. They prefer this thing, systematic, clear definition, or uh, good explanation. They, uh, they can easily learn this style of dharma compared with chanting Amidaba. Chanting Amidaba is for the auntie, la, uh, <laughs> All right, uh, they are not highly educated, simple mind. Uh, so chanting Amidaba. So even though Chuji uh, the charity work, uh, a uni student not 100% like it because uh, uh, this type of charity work, uh, they don't ask, they, 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 they discourage uh, asking questions. They say you just do only, uh, don't ask so much, you see. But here, this type of Buddhist study, we encourage you to ask more and take more knowledge. Uh, so that's why if you met any uni student, you talk about way to Buddhahood, they can talk to you with this issue. Uh, 
So you will know this. Uh, uh, so this is the Chung Kappa. Uh, so Lam Rim is this book, you see? Uh, the Greek treatise on the stages of the path. Uh, so please write down uh, Lam Rim in here. Uh, please write down uh, this book. Uh, please write, write down Lam Rim. Uh, you can tell the Tibetan Buddhist, Buddhist that, oh, you, uh, 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 basically, they all know Lam Rim very well. Like, uh, okay, uh, and then uh, this is the Jonggakpa. Uh, Jonggakpa, okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. Jonggakpa usually taken, okay, you see, the date of death is about 1419, you see, uh, the man from Old Anin Valley, uh, born in Amdo, eh? Yeah, was a famous teacher of, uh, not this lah, uh, it's uh, this Chung Kakpa, a guy of his life. Let me see first. Uh, Lozang Kakpa. Uh. Is this the Chung Kakpa I like? Yeah, I think I think it's correct. Uh. J Chung Kakpa. Uh. Yeah, yeah, correct. Uh, uh, Chinese is a Chung Kakpa. Uh. So, uh, uh, the look school. Uh. Uh, formation of the Galuk. Galuk. Please write down Galuk. Uh. Galuk uh, is the school which is similar uh, Galuk, uh, which is similar with Dalai Lama. Uh. So you can talk to the people. Uh. Uh, it's a Galuk. Uh. Uh, Chinese uh, Gelu Pai. Uh. Uh, 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 okay, uh, so a little bit history, that will be enough. Uh, uh, so basically meaning to say that if, if you want to name a, a Greek scholar in Tibetan Buddhism, so Chungkapa is a very well-known scholar. Uh, and, and, and one thing is uh, because, uh, okay, why Chungkapa have to do this thing? And one thing uh, he's tried, he tried to relaunch the holding of the precept. Because uh, uh, during Chungkapa time become holding as a monk, uh, uh, some monk they start to marry already. <laughs> they got the kids, you see. Ah, meaning to say that they, are, they start degrading. Uh, so Chungkapa do some, also pioneer work. He said, oh, you should observe to the Vinaya. Uh, you should be, you shouldn't marry. And you, sh and, and, and you shouldn't be so, uh, you shouldn't keep so much money. He, he do all these things. Uh, so uh, people all respect. Uh, why? Because he do scholar work and also he he tried to do some pile, uh, he tried to do some revolution. Uh. Then next, let's take a look. Uh, huh? Okay, uh, so we need to say that uh, mutual dependence and mutual inclusive. Uh, huh? So for this three vehicle, they are mutually dependent and mutually inclusive. Okay, once you talk about the Greek vehicle, it is it, it includes the five vehicle. Uh, once you talk about three vehicle, it includes the five vehicle. Uh, if without the fundamental, you go to the Greek vehicle, meaning to say that you are building the castle on the sand, uh, it might collapse one day. Uh, some uh, well, it happened. It does happen before. Uh, uh, Chinese Buddhism, uh, it does happen that uh, I mean without the, the the fundamental. So meaning to say that. Uh, uh, they will always talk about the philosophy. I mean, uh, the Dharma dimension like a philosophy, which is, sounds nice, but unreachable. Uh, it will happen in this way. Uh, if, if the Dharma, you just immediately go to the top one without the fundamental. Okay, next paragraph. Yes, SJ, can you please uh, read it out? Uh? Therefore, in order to suit people's various capacity, the Buddha Dharma is skillfully differentiated into five vehicles, the human divine, Shravaka, Pratakabuddha, and Bodhisattva. When the Buddha spoke of the three vehicles, Shravaka, Pratakabuddha, and Bodhisattva, he emphasized the teaching of renunciation. For people with different capacities, of course, the doctrines have to be different. The Buddha also spoke of the difference between these three vehicles but all are simple ways to become a Buddha. To return to the ultimate, there's only the one vehicle, the great vehicle. This is not to say that all sentient beings must become Buddhas, nor is it to say that having the one vehicle teaching 
is all that is needed to return to the ultimate. What it actually means is that from the standpoint of the Buddha Dharma, all Buddha Dharmas, higher, middle and lower, leads eventually to the one vehicle of becoming a Buddha, the great vehicle Dharma. This can be illustrated by those of the Stravaka vehicles, middle great people who practice this for leaving the world and attaining Nirvana. During the Lotus Dharma assembly, the Buddha proclaims that the Stravaka vehicles practice was a skillful teaching because these people were actually practicing the great vehicle Dharma. Therefore, the Buddha said, what you have practiced has been the Bodhisattva way. The Da Zi Du Lun reconstructed Sanskrit title Mahaprajaparamitopadesa Sastra also says the two vehicles renunciation and wisdom are the same as the Bodhisattva realization of no rebirth. And the Lotus Sutra reciting but once Namo Buddha they have attained Buddhahood. Even the offering of one stick of incense or one flower, the simple movement of the hands and head in protraction, and the chanting of the Buddha's name, all these practice for the human and divine vehicles are included within the one vehicle Dharma to become a Buddha. Okay, thank you so much. Uh -huh. Oh, SJ, uh, we pronounce this as a, um, let's, let me show you how. Uh, we pronounce this as a bat Pracheka Buddha. Uh, let's see, let me find it for you. Uh. Uh, yeah, this one is a Pracheka Buddha. Uh, we pronounce as Pracheka Buddha. Okay, thank you. Uh. Okay, class, uh, according to uh, this paragraph, uh, why Shakyamuni will mention um, human vehicle, divine vehicle, Sravaka, Prachika, Buddha, and Buddha is due to the different capacity. Uh, but anyway, according to the author, finally, all will go back to the one vehicle, meaning to say that it's a Buddhahood, it's finally. Uh, so this is the philosophy behind, the major, major philosophy behind Lotus Dharma Flower Sutra, the Lotus Sutra. He said, all vehicle finally will become the uh, one vehicle. So that's why in the next paragraph, it keep on mentioning that even though you are Sravaka, finally you will become a Buddhahood. Okay, and in Lotus Sutra, there's one very famous verse. It mentioned that uh, even though you name uh, Namo Fo, uh, okay, so this, it seems that you have planted a seed. 
in the future, you will become Buddha one day. Uh, so that's, uh, this is what we call, uh, in Buddhism, whatever karma, karmic force uh, we create, uh, we, we use a planting seed as an analogy for it. So once you plant a seed, uh, the seed is undecayable. It will be ripened one day, once the condition is there, you see. So, meaning to, uh, so that is the meaning uh, uh, for the Lotus Sutra. Uh. So class always remember, uh, if, you, if you study the Agama Sutra, it might be different. Okay, in Agama Sutra, it mentioned that it is logic, it is logic you choose to become Arahan, and as an Arahan, it's not necessary for you to become the Buddhahood. Okay, oh, so remember, oh, so uh, the, the, the Buddha teaching before uh, before Christ, about 200, uh, before Christ, uh, before Christ, in between uh, 300 to uh, uh, before Christ, uh, uh, before before Christ, uh, 400 begin the 400 years. It mentioned that you can become arahan. Okay, but the Buddha teaching after the Christ, begin the hundred years, it will, it will stick. It will it will, uh, it will persist. Uh, it will stick to the. Uh, 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 it will stick to the uh, philosophy that all must become a Buddhahood. <sighs> okay, so I just let you know uh, uh, So that is the changing of the. The mindset uh, of the Buddhism uh, during the period. Uh, okay, uh, so uh, that's what we know here. Uh, uh, okay, how should I put it? Uh, I think the analogy is just like uh, I remember uh, uh, nowadays. Okay, I remember the first time uh, I, I understand computer, everything safe is the floppy disk, right? Ah, so from the floppy disk, so big, maybe uh, five and a half inch or what? Uh, okay, uh, then uh, this is one error, uh, and then. Uh, floppy disk no more, we go to the CD, right? Oh, the open drive. Oh. So later on, it will change to other. You need to set that technology keep on changing. Buddhism philosophy also keep on changing. Okay, so do you get it? Okay, oh. uh, but uh, for us, uh, uh, we can't say which is right or wrong. Oh. I will introduce all of you. So up to you to choose which one you prefer. Oh. Okay, so besides this, let's take a look. Uh, Okay, here I mentioned one more is a Mahaprasna uh, Paramito Pates, uh, Sasastra. Well, this Sastra is, uh, is written by Nagarjuna. Well, this is a very famous Mahayana Sutra. Mahayana Prach. Mahaprasna, Paramito Patesa, Maha Prasna, Paramito Patesa, Paramita. I think I'm supposed to be Mahaprachana Paramita. Let's take a look. Yes, attribute to the Nagarjuna. Yes, so this is same with the Mahaprachana Paramita Sutra. So uh, this is an encyclopedic collection of the Prashna Paramita text. This is very famous. Plus, uh, basically, Nagarjuna. Uh, uh, Nagarjuna is mentioned. Is the person after the Shakyamuni, uh, Nagarjuna. Oh. So let's see. So this is, I think he is the Nagarjuna. Oh. Uh, according to legendary, oh, you know uh, how, how did Nagarjuna discover the Buddhist text? It is from a dragon palace. <laughs> Sometimes we got the legendary, oh, we got some story. Oh. Okay, oh. Uh, once we talk about oh, dragon palace, oh, so for Chinese, we think about, oh, maybe they hit like a dragon, okay. So they are under the sea. So in, in the sea, you can see so many living beings. They're like the crabs and the prawn, or they will come. Or, so we will think in this way. Huh? But always remember that this is an Indian style. Huh? So, so it's an Indian, Indian, Indian version of the dragon palace. Huh? So we don't know how is it. It's, it's, it's supposed to be different uh, with our Chinese 
perception of. But uh, according to the legendary, there's a lot of uh, Buddhism sutra in the Dragon Palace. So Nagarjuna, so he traveled there and he read through all the texts. Then he vows to become a monk. So after the text, because he's so smart, so he start to uh, launch, uh, uh, I mean Mahayana. Uh, why? Because uh, before Mahayana, there is a sectarian school. Uh, for sectarian school Buddhism, they, they try to interpret Buddhism in a very technical term and with a very systematic and very tedious way. This is very far from uh, 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 fulfilling the needs of the public. So Nagarjuna dissatisfied with this. So he, he tried to do something uh, to do something to change uh, so that to make the Dharma more approachable uh, to the public. Uh, so this is what Nagarjuna, why people uh, quite respect him until now. Uh, so I think he is the not Indian, not Indian. Uh, he's, uh, he's supposed to be not Indian. And uh, he is, uh, 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 the, the time is about the first, first century uh, for Nagarjuna. Uh, and his age is about, uh, he, he's quite long life, long lived. Uh, his age is more than 100 years old. Uh, so this is the Nagarjuna, as you see here, lah, huh? you see, Nagarjuna philosophy. So always remember these people. Huh? Then, okay. Yeah, that's the thing I want to mention to you. Huh? So, uh, well, uh, I want to go a little bit. Huh? Uh, not the sutra, I should go to the sastra. My hmm. Prashnamita sastra. Hmm. Sorry, it's second century. Huh? Uh, some with a different, of course, we, there will be some different uh, first or second century, huh? academically different sometimes. Huh? Um, okay. Not this, uh, class, class, not this, uh, but Nagarjuna, the name is right. Uh, okay, so next paragraph. Amanda, your turn to read it uh. Some people think that the one vehicle and the great vehicle are different but they are actually the same. For example, the Lotus Sutra and the Sri Simhanada Sutra both describe the one vehicle Dharma, which at times they call the great vehicle. The terms are usually used in different contexts. However, the term great vehicle is most frequently used in contrast to the two vehicles, while one vehicle is usually used to explain that all Dharmas to become a Buddha are included within a single vehicle. Similarly, if the emphasis is on the causal stage, then this vehicle is called the Bodhisattva vehicle. While if the emphasis is on the merits of the resultant stage, it is called the Buddha vehicle. These different names accord with different meanings. But in the entire course of practicing the Buddhist way, all the vehicles are included without differentiating superior and inferior. So one should not become stuck at the middle or the lower levels, nor should one abandon them. One should completely include them while progressing toward the Buddha vehicle and not slander the true Dharma. In practicing the Buddhist way, one should not become stuck. If one stagnates in the middle or lower levels, that is, the Hina Yana way or the human and divine ways, that is not an accord with the Tathagata's original purpose. This would be like someone who, heading to a Fuyan temple from the town of Sinju, stops on the way to look at the nice scenery and gets stuck there. If one does not ascend the Guanyin Plateau and continue on to Fuyan temple, how can one get to see the panorama? the mountain, lake, ocean, and the reflection of the pagoda. Developing for the mind and taking as one's goal, becoming a Buddha. One should not abandon the Dharma of the middle and lower people. 
All of the Dharma is the Bodhisattva way and the doctrine for becoming a Buddha. Some people seeking something superior and wonderful think that Mahayanis do not need the Dharma for the middle or lower people. But if they do not reach the 300 uh, Yojana resting point first, they will never arrive at the precious palace at 500 Yojanas. Therefore, practitioners should, all, should include the middle and lower Dharma within the Buddha vehicle. They should not aim unrealistically high or yearn for the higher mysteries without paying attention to the fundamentals. And although there are infinite doors opening to it, the Dharma has only one flavor. One should not complicate it. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, class, let's take a look. Uh, uh, here, there's a little bit, uh, uh, just clarification about one vehicle and Greek vehicle. Class, basically, one vehicle and the Greek vehicle are the same thing only. Uh, uh, sometimes, uh, for the Greek vehicle, people will call it namely as Bodhisattva vehicle. Uh, this is from the merit, I mean, uh, perspective. Some will mention it as a Buddha vehicle. That is from the resultant expect okay but both are the same or huh? whether bodhisattva or buddha vehicle all right uh, and then uh, the next paragraph actually I, I, we mentioned it before lah, huh? so i mean uh, for the pagoda huh? so they must be inclusive and also uh, mutually exclusive uh, mutually inclusive and dependent so you cannot just skip it okay huh? uh, just one uh, sutra i have to mention is is the sri mala simbanata sutra huh? Sri Mala, Sri, uh, Sri Mala Simhanata. Sri Mala Simhanata. Sri Mala. 
Sri Sri Mala Sinhanata Sri Sri Mala Simhanata Sri Mala Simhanata Sastra And fine for me, huh? But this one, uh, huh? Uh, Sri Malasimhanata Sutra. Huh? Hmm. Oh, okay, huh? Okay, class. Uh, so this is the uh, Sri Mala Devi, you know, the uh, Singhanata Sutra. Huh? So this is the Mahayana text, okay? So uh, we translate as a lion's robe of a queen, Sri Mala. Huh? So uh, according to this sutra, okay, they all describe one vehicle Dharma la, and also with the Lotus Sutra. Huh? So class, uh, uh, as long as uh, you can see the original text, uh, you can just wiki it or Google it, okay? Uh, so that uh, you will know how, uh, I mean, uh, the, uh, how is the original text. Basically, in history of Buddhism, we will introduce you different era. What are the texts from? Okay, the texts are from the different era, huh? and with a different feature, huh? you can learn all this in the history of Buddhism. Huh? Well, uh, I think we have to applaud to Elena because Elena, even though just 30, 40 percent understand the Mandarin class of the history of Buddhism, but she still she still take the challenge. So we applaud to Elena. Very good. Ah, English act people go to attend the history of Buddhism. <laughs> yes, uh, you must have a passionate uh, enthusiasm, uh, then you will do the thing like that. Uh. But of course, I think Elena, your Mandarin not that bad, uh, more than 30 40 percent. Uh. If uh, just 30 40 percent, you feel boring, uh, I think. Uh, okay, hey, Amanda, maybe uh, 30 40 percent. Uh, uh, you won't feel boring because you don't, don't fully understand. Uh, you will feel boring because you fully understand Mandarin. Is this correct? <laughs> so, <laughs> understand. <laughs> so, for the history one is more than Mandarin. <laughs> you don't understand Mandarin also cannot fully understand. Yeah, so, luckily, Elena, you don't fully understand, so you don't know boring. You don't feel boring because you don't fully understand. <laughs> so funny. Huh? Okay, huh? But anyway, if uh, there's opportunity, I will try to have an English class for the history of Buddhism. Anyone is interested in this type of subject? Can you put up your hand? Two, three, four, five. Oh, I, okay, we got the market. Okay, yeah, yeah Amanda applaud. <laughs> but I did, uh, maybe Amanda uh, will laugh them sarcastically or uh, you, will know, you, you will know how to die uh, later on when the class starts. Uh. <laughs> okay, uh, thank you so much. Uh. So no much thing regarding this, uh, this paragraph because we all mentioned that already. Huh? Okay, here one word I have to mention is about the Hinayana. Huh? Okay, uh, basically uh, some people will misinterpret that uh, the Theravada as Hinayana. Huh? Maybe Junjie is quite new to the Buddhism. What does it mean Theravada? Huh? Well, basically once we talk about the Theravada, you will think about Uh, you would think about Theravada Buddhism, uh, especially you see the manga with this color of the cast, uh, cast uh, attire, okay, with this type of color of robe. So some Mahayana, they will say, oh, they are the Hinayana. Uh, or oh, please, avoid using this word, uh, because people maybe will punch you. Hinayana is a sarcastic terminology. Huh? Why? Because Hina, wa. Hinayana come from Hina. Hina mean inferior. Huh? Uh, from, same with the Bahasa Malaysia. Huh? So don't call them Hinayana next time. We just call them Theravada. Okay, huh? And basically not all the Chinese are Mahayana. Huh? Uh, well, basically, uh, this is more, uh, I mean, it's quite complicated issue. Huh? We will mention in the last chapter, huh, what is the definition of as a Mahayana? Huh? Then next, let's take a look. 
Okay, next paragraph. Gamling, can you please uh, write it out? Huh? Two types of people. Huh? Um, from which paragraph that higher? Uh, two types of people needlessly twist the truth, true dharma out of shape. The first are those who think a certain sutra or a certain dharma is not the Buddha dharma. This type of slandering can be easily uh, recognized by others to avoid such people. The second are who think they have such great capacity that they do not need the middle and lower dharmas or who think that the doctrines of dharma, of karma, good and evil, etc. are for lower stupid people and have nothing to do with them. There are also people who think that between the Mahayana dharma, they need only a certain sutra or even half of it, a certain Buddha or a certain mantra and that this obvious any need for other teachings. Some people also think that they are that they do not need the sutras. They only really need to practice. All of these people have something in common. They abandon the infinite sutras and the boundless uh, methods for practice. They take one drop of water and abandon the ocean, thinking the, uh, the entire ocean is in the one drop. If the mistake is made only by these foolish and stubborn people, it is of minor significance. But for the propagation, propagation of Buddha Dharma, it becomes an enormous obstacle. Slandering the true Dharma in this way is the result of not knowing the principles of the Buddha Dharma of the Buddha Dharma, as it say in the treatise, to have faith without wisdom enhance ignorance. How horrible this ignorance is. Okay, thank you so much. So this is the last paragraph. Okay, class. Um, what, uh, uh, what is uh, what what is mentioned by the author? Uh, uh, I think it's quite similar during my form five study. Uh, I remember during not form five during SPM uh, or SRP. Uh, so uh, we aim to further study to SPM. But some of our friends uh, they say, uh, oh, I don't aim for university study, so not necessary to study SPM. So I should go to learn a skill, maybe cutting hair or making baking cake uh, so so that I can uh, 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 when I get the skills it is good enough for me to survive and finally I can become a boss you see so do you remember uh, I remember during my time uh, uh, not some people they think in this way uh, uh, they are uh, they are quite exceptional uh, but there is there is there, there was this type of people uh, well uh, this happened in the Buddhism same you see so uh, uh, first type of people they, they will uh, they deny the comprehensive learning okay in a very early stage they want to specify they want to specific certain sutra or mantra already so they want they don't want to comprehensively knowing the thing huh? just like they don't want to study SPM with the comprehensive knowing before make a choice okay 
uh, well, it happens in the Buddhism, huh? because uh, some, if you go to join uh, the organization who already specific one school or one method, so it just meaning to say that they, without starting SPM, immediately they make a choice already. And then second type people, they will deny the, the SPM, they say, I have no need to study so much, just go to learn one skill, and later on you can become a boss, then you start earning the money. Okay, so these type of people also happen. You need to say that without the comprehensive study, they have to choose one method, one mantra, one chanting. Then they start ready. So this happened also. I mean, this type of Buddhism, you can discover this type of Buddhism. Whereas for us, uh, we are the one, uh, uh, what, what we do now, actually, uh, the subject you are taking now, is just like an SPM subject. You will, we will provide you a comprehensive knowing to the thorough knowledge of the Buddhism. Then later on, you, you will specific it. Uh, you will specific the method. Uh, you will specific uh, the sutra or sastra but, uh, later on, but after the comprehensive study. Okay, so that is the, uh, uh, I mean, uh, I mean uh, what happened uh, during uh, our schooling time, uh, it happened also now in the Buddhism. Uh, uh, well, basically, I think uh, what we choose, uh, what, what we are doing now, uh, meaning to say that uh, this method is, more suitable to the academic inclination people. Uh, meaning to say that we are analytical mind and we prefer asking the question. So we will choose this method we are doing now. Do you agree or not? Are you this type of people? You prefer asking questions. You want to learn things systematic. You prefer authentic information. It is correct. Uh, but if you go to this, this tool, uh, they won't provide you. You don't do, you, if you go to this school, uh, you don't ask too many. Uh. They, they are not ready to answer you, you see. Because uh, most of them are the, the founder, uh, they don't go through the education as they go through. So you get it? Uh, okay, well, so, so I believe how uh, you will stay back because uh, your style is quite similar with my style. So we learn in the same style. <laughs> okay, get it? Okay, so uh, in next lesson, we'll